From that NCAA investigation, right to Major UFL booster John Schneider. Louisville's Vince Tyre may have interim in his new job title as athletics director, but he's certainly dealing with some major issues right now at the school. Sports director Ken Spencer has more on in his, in his interview with Tyre today. No, let me let me uh, just say hello again. It's when Vince Tyre became the interim athletics director at Louisville, he inherited several scandals surrounding the men's basketball program. The sex scandal that began in August of 2015, a case that's now in the appeals process with the NCAA, at stake, the 2013 national title. How quickly do you think you guys will have some finality from all of this? We'll be in Atlanta on December 12th and 13th with our appeal. Uh, Dr. Postal and I will be down there with our counsel presenting our appeal. Um, I've reviewed the case, reviewed our appeal, um, feel well prepared. Uh, obviously not happy with the original decision, would be happy if we come back with that banner. Then there's the latest FBI pay for play scandal within the sport, where it's alleged Louisville coaches were involved in the arrangement to pay the family of freshman Brian Bowen $100,000 through a representative of Adidas. Where does Brian Bowen sit with you guys currently? Yeah, he's still, you know, sitting on the sidelines. As everybody knows, he's, he's not involved in, in the team aspect of what's going on in basketball. We've been working as fast as we've been allowed to, as, as, first, as fast as we can, our internal investigations to get to a point where we can make a decision with Brian. You know, I think it's one that, um, you know, the, we come first, uh, obviously, and then and Brian second. I asked Ty Ray if he thinks assistant coach Kenny Johnson, who was placed on administrative leave in the wake of the FBI probe, would ever coach at Louisville again. I don't know enough really to say that. I think that um, that's something that we, we, believe me, even today, working through as many facts as I can find in our investigation and, and hope to come to that decision in short order. Several weeks ago, Ty Ray created a buzz when he was seen courtside at a basketball game with John Schnatter. Well, my relationship with John is great, uh, as it is with uh, most of our donors, you know, I, I've got good work relationships. I've been a part of this community in different ways, so I've done business with a lot of these leaders in, in the uh, in the city, and uh, we need them all. I mean, we need to unify this effort. I don't I don't like having division. And then you have perhaps the biggest unknown of all. Do you want this job full time? You know, it's a question I'm trying to answer with others more than myself. I don't think it's fair to the coaches or even to our our fan base to try to just jump in here. It's not something I ever intended to do. And, and if there's value to be added here and I can help this community and help this university and, and uh, athletic program, then I think we should have that discussion. But I'm, I'm in no hurry to jam anybody. If there's a better player out there to fill this role, then, then I think that's available too. Now, when it comes to the hearing in front of the Infractions Appeals Committee set for mid-December, it still could be a month or two before this whole NCAA scandal is finalized for Louisville. Ken Spencer, WHAS 11 News.